This is a tutorial for the installation and basic use of the plugin Line Tool. It's an Andrew Vectors plugin of volume 26 on Graphic Extras. It's for Illustrator CS4 only. It's for PC and Mac. Right, got a folder structure here. There's split Mac and PC. I'm on a PC, so I'm just going to select the PC one too. If you select that copy paste, copy and then you want to go to the program files and that's on the C drive program files and then you will see it, Adobe Illustrator CS4 plugins and I've created a separate folder here if you paste that in that's the location it's an AIP file basically it goes into a plugins folder you can create your own folder it makes it easier for you to remove it some later time just going to start up Illustrator now now the plugin appears in the toolbox the Illustrator toolbox and you'll see it in a sec, so I'm just going to open a new file, new, right, and you'll see, to actually access the various functions of the line tool, and it's, like I said, it's in the toolbox here, so I'm just going to click on that, and the dialog here. You can change these, the program uses lines, various things, so you've actually got a fill there, so I'm going to set the fill to nothing, and I'm going to set to red at this point, you can change it to black, or whatever, and, uh, so I'm just going to change the stroke size to four points. And the basic thing is, it will draw lines in this case. This is the basic mode of the thing. So it's in the grid. You know, it doesn't particularly look like a grid, but it is actually a grid of lines, different individual lines, 10 by 10. They overlap, of course, just to, but you can actually rotate it so you can actually see. Right, I'm just going to use it mainly in the windmill. There's actually a, a number of plugins come with it. So there's a drop down here, so there's windmill plugin. That's a circular design. You can create various circles, number of circles, say like have 30 circles, uh, and number of circles out from that. You can change rotation, the scale of them, you can jitter the positions, etc. You can change the scales, you can add various turn effects match various things, creation of things. Also the trail feature that creates repeated copies of things. So if I just quickly do that, you can actually just create a quick thousands of, of things. Basically instead of deleting them each time so I'm just going to remove that. So that's what it would normally do. You can actually draw sort of a basic circle. You can there's actually many different lines types. So there's um, curve lines and so you can create different designs basically using that. Um, many things like blend, you can randomize the width, layer, you can put, add them onto different layers. You can also use pen, pasty, length and width. So if you've got uh, an art pad and pen, you can actually apply them. You've got many different patterns and designs. So if you say like select pattern one here, I'm just going to, you'd actually see different patterns of things. You can create different designs. You can actually use fills as well. So you don't have to just use uh, lines, but uh, that's, I'm just showing you that example. So come out of uh, pattern mode. There's a number of different pattern types. You can change the stroke to white, black and all that sort of stuff. You can change many different settings. So so that's using a different curve line. Okay, each curve line feature can actually be applied in different ways to create different designs. So it's not just a similar single design. So that creates that. You can also draw lines. So you can actually create random many different random design of path. So anyway, that's the basic functionality of the plugin. Uh, it's uh, got many, many thousands of features. You can create millions of different designs, line designs as well as actual field designs. Um, I hope you found the quick tutorial of interest and come back for future tutorials. Thank you much. Bye.